Hey there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. So today I want to show you guys how to change your radar settings to the same as mine. So if you want to check the minimap in the upper left hand corner, you can see that it's not the default one anymore because I'm using simple radar, which is actually a kind of pre-made pack. It's not completely done yet, so they do not have all the maps, so, but I think only Nuke is missing from the active duty map pool, so that's quite cool. So as you can see, it's quite nice looking, just better overall in general, and I'd say let's get over to actually how to install it. So if you want to install Simple Radar, you just go to simpleradar.com and you'll be greeted with this landing page right here. So of course we're talking about a couple of things like having better vis uh, visibility, better color scheme, it's of course not vac bannable, however ECA might give you some trouble because they actually do not want you to modify the files. Not sure about Sivo, however Faceit is okay with it. Also, they replaced some of the inaccurate things, for example, like right here, the objects, some walls and proportions were wrong, or just walls in general. So, as you can see, they made it a lot better, right here, you can see the colors actually showing you the position where the normal map has, and actually how it looks with their map. So, a couple donations, and right here we are at the download section, if you're just scrolling down, so you want to go, right here you will be greeted with this, and you want to go to f uh, full pack download, click on it, and you will be greeted with a download. I already did it, so mine is right here, Simple Radar. So what you want to do next is you want to open it and you can see you got all these files in here. So the next step is to go to Steam. You want to right click on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, go to Properties, then to Local Files and Browse Local Files. So then go to CSGO, Resource and Overviews. Right here you'll have all your maps or mini maps and just stuff like that. So before you actually replace them, just select all, make a new folder, put them in there so you got them as backup. So you can also easily switch between them if you don't want to use them in, on ECA and stuff like that. Something that's very good to know. But yeah, um, just in general, do that, make a backup. Of course, also verifying cache will get ri uh, rid of them again. But it's just easier if you want to switch them on the go. So what you do now, as soon as you're in this folder, you want to of course go back to your zip folder and you want to just copy and paste them and put them all over here. So as you can see I already got them in there and I'll just for the sake of this video we'll replace them now. Close this down, close this down and you're actually pretty good to go now. If you go in game you can see that you have them. So let's switch over to in game once again. So back in game this is how it looks like once again as you saw in the previous part of the video and just overall it's clearer, it's a lot more visible and just overall a lot more comfortable to look at and I think this might actually really help you out if you have trouble just looking at it, especially if you like have a, a low contrast monitor or stuff like that. Anyhow, I think for me it might actually be a bad thing if I cannot control my bad minimap habits because the thing why you often see very bad cross replacement from me is because I'm not actually looking at the screen. Sometimes I just like spend almost minutes only looking at the minimap waiting for stuff and looking there and I always get time because of that. That's a very bad habit that I have to kind of tackle and to take control of so it won't happen anymore. But yeah, I think it's pretty short for now and I hope you enjoyed this video and like a skill figure out.